Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I'm here to talk about NBA Live 19. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about hands-on with NBA Live 19. Now, if you guys don't notice, I'm in a creator's cave right now. This is where a lot of content creators come to capture gameplay. This is just some one of those perks of being a game changer. Now, as far as hands-on with live go, we're gonna go in depth as much as I know. And then there's also going to be that moment where we talk about things for the future, things that need to be fixed, stuff like that. So everything I say here, I want you to work with me on it. I want you guys to, you know, rock with me. We're just going to jump into it, man. Let's get into the video. So the first thing that I'm going to hop into is the online experience. As far as the online experience goes, Live Run kind of got like a, a little overlay change but it's still the same concept you sit inside the lobby you guys are loaded up you go in work with your traits work with your outfits and stuff like that um, work on your key um, unlock traits and everything now as far as getting into the game the startup is a little bit different if you guys remember last year when you started up a game you would either have the ball in your hand or you would come on the court shake a couple hands or whatever the case may be and the build that we played today they had the exact same court from the screenshot with uh, Maya Moore and Candace Parker in it. That was the exact court that we played on the day. We didn't get a choice of playing on another court. Now, with that being said, when we were walking to the actual court, there is a cutscene where you load in, you walk up with you and your squad, you come in, and then you kind of step up to half, to half court, and then you know, look at each other and say, hey, it's about to go down. Now, basically what they have done is they've added a better type of I, I won't call it a replay system if you guys remember there was like this portion where you know somebody was holding the phone right and you were like yo what's all these fans you know running up on court looking at the dude what's going on basically that's when dope moments happen that's when highlight dunks happen crossovers happen into like mid-range jump shots freaky layups but it doesn't happen so often to the point where it's like bro every time you dunk is do you have to see that animation no, you don't have to choose to celebrate. You don't have to choose to see the cutscene. But when those dope moments happen, it is insane. Now, I played as a slasher. I didn't get a chance to play as a wing shooter. I didn't get a chance to play as a rim protector. But what I can say as the slasher, being a slasher and running the offense, passing the ball was a little bit rough, a little bit tough. But we got the job done because I had a dope wing shooter on my squad that was torching his opponent. Now... As far as the slasher go, my guy was kind of small. I didn't get a crazy dunk, but the person that I was guarding got past me because of a rim protective screen and dunked the ball. And I'm gonna tell you now, man, slashers is still looking a little cheesy, bro, a little OP. I can't lie about that, man. If you get to that rack and you go up, hey, nine times out of 10, you making that dunk. Now, jumping into the rim protector. The rim protector, as far as like playing defense, I didn't really see too much of that. I seen more of, Hey, I'm going to use this big man in the paint because when we throw alley-oops to the big man, it's an easy way to catch it, right? So my opponent, he wasn't really about scoring. He was more of like trying to get that, you know, two-player game going on. He forgot about the wing shooter. He ain't involved the wing shooter at all. So with his rim protector, whenever the rim protector screened me and a rotation had to happen or a switch or whatever the case may be, he was throwing that alley-oop a lot. Now, as far as the wing shooter goes, I was utilizing my wing shooter. I was passing the wing shooter the ball. I think the wing shooter had 21 points. Yep, uh, I think he had 21 points. The game was 23 to, I believe, 20. You know what I'm saying? So the wing shooter had like 21. I think I had two, but I had a lot of doms. The center had a lot of doms. But it was just a simple fact that his opponent really probably wasn't that good, didn't know how to play live. And we were exposing him all game, man. Now, I know you guys are probably going to say iPod. What we really want to know about is the animations. How is the game playing? What's going on? So, what I've noticed is online, the dribble animations, animations all around, the game speed, everything seems faster online than what it was offline. And we'll jump into offline in a moment. But I want to focus to online a little bit. Now, as far as my slasher goes, right, I felt like I had lockdown defense, bro. Like every time I was locking this dude up, all I seen was green. I might have seen one yellow, I didn't see any reds. And that's maybe because I implement that, 
I'm not gonna move my character until he moves his character. So you can dribble as much as you want, but once you, you know, divulge your body to me a little bit, I know which side you're going. So I kind of was playing a little bit of lockdown defense. Now, uh, the rim protector hit me with a crazy screen that knocked me on my behind. And, it, and after that, I got mad. And you know, I just started abusing the wing shooter after that. Um, what was another thing that uh, was pretty dope? Um, the fact that the wing shooter not only did he have a, a, a good three-point shot, the mid-range game for him was pretty good too. Um, I think he hit a leaner shot, and he had a, and I think he hit a bunch of like spot-up threes. Like I was just spotting him up. But there was one instant where the camera flipped. I had the ball in my hands, and I was iconing it. I'm an icon living, yes. But I, icon passed it to the shooter. Now somebody that was watching it said that he had got uh, bumped. So when he was trying to like pop out for the pass, the be because the ball went out of bounds. He said somebody told me that that dude got bumped, and that's the reason why the pass was uh, botched. So I'm, I'm, but here first, I'm gonna tell you now. I tried to pass it to somebody. They didn't catch it. Maybe it was a bump. Maybe it wasn't. I know from my point of view. I didn't see it because a lot of fans were around me yelling and screaming like, ah, pot, ah, pot. So when I did the icon pass, I went to go look at somebody because I'm like, oh, he about to make that shot. And when I turned my head, it was out of bounds. So that's just that's just my point of view. Now, the slasher, um, last point until we get into the head-to-head. Uh, -head. The slashers are definitely a good build. Um, you can run point. Me, honestly, I still prefer a playmaker, you know what I'm saying, over a, a slasher at the point, but it was a pretty good 3v3 run. Um, now, let's talk about the actual head-to-head -head real quick. All right, guys, so check this out, right? Um, Stax Montana, you guys might know him, uh, fellow YouTuber, homie. Uh, basically, him and his wife was playing a game, and she was getting bodied. I think the score was about, it was probably like 71 or 72 to like 21, right? So at this point, Stax is killing with her with the Celtics. And I got Golden State, so I was like, you know what, Chrissy, I'll help you. Why not help Chrissy try to come back on Stax, right? Um, I'm gonna just let you know, at the end of the game, he only had like 82, I had like 60-something. Yeah, I would've bombed on Stax if we would've started the game zip zip. But as far as gameplay goes from a head-to-head -head standpoint, from the angle that we were playing, we were playing like that, uh, that low, like, baseline type of look. And it was okay, but, you know, things were so zoomed in. Gameplay speed was a really big factor. And I remember mentioning this last year that they have to tweak the game speed. But you can tweak the game speed on your own. You don't have to say, hey, EA, we need you to fix the game speed. You can make the game speed whatever you want it to be. So that's a good thing about NBA Live. So check it, right? While we were in a game, I was noticing like, just trying to get simple animations and stuff like that. Like I'm reaching for steals, seeing what players do in, you know, tough moments. And you know, usually when you reach for a steal and the steal is about to happen, but a player gathers the ball. What happened was, I think this was Kevin Durant, uh, right around the foul line, he gathers the ball, right? So as he's gathering the ball, I pump fake. And as I pump fake, my player slides. And it was a travel, but no travel was called. So that's one thing that I did let the dev team know to, to make sure they take a look at is when those animations happen where, you know, it's like that, that canned animation. Like, I went for the steal. I didn't get the steal, but I put that player in that animation like, yo, you're going to pick this ball up. So once he went to go pick the ball up and I pump fake, it was a GG because I pump faked and I slid a little bit. So that's one thing about it. Um, I think the difficulty that we were playing on had to be like either the lowest or one above the lowest difficulty. So there was a lot of crazy shots being hit. Uh, he was hitting leaner shots with Kyrie. D he, I was hitting deep threes with Kevin Durant. I was hitting nonsense with Clay. Kyrie was going to, I think Kyrie had like 36 points. Durant for me, I think Durant had like 25. I was tortured with Durant. He was hot as all hell, bro. Um, also, Sean Livingston, that pull up mid range is insane, bro. Um, the back down uh, animations are looking pretty good. Um, as far as like faders out the post, if a person knows it's a fader out the post, but they don't get the block and you get the green release, it's a GG. It's nothing they can do to stop it. I had KD in the paint looking like a god. I'm just saying, man, look, he the MVP uh, finals champ. 
I just, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, what you want me to do? Like, finals MVP, another NBA champion. I was cooking with him. Um, as far as, like, gameplay goes, I only played two minutes of the third quarter and one full fourth quarter. So I am going to head back over there, play the game a little bit more. But I just wanted to give you guys my consensus on what I've seen so far. And I will keep you guys updated. I will not keep any information under wraps about what's going on. It's always transparency with you guys. And I know that there's that, oh, well, you know, EA flew him out or, you know, I'm probably only doing this because they hit him up. Technically, when you think about it, guys, what person would you want at an event when there's gameplay capture involved? feedback involved who else would you want there you know what i'm saying when you think about it in hindsight i'm a stand-up dude y'all know that i speak the truth you know what i'm saying if people pay me they pay me for promotion they don't pay me to speak my mind you know what i mean and for me to be in the creator's cave right now while people is capturing gameplay and i could be doing the same thing i'm here talking to you guys so that just shows the dedication that i got for y'all because i'm just like y'all yo I play video games, and I'm going to keep playing video games. So when you think about it, man, just know I probably got y'all back. I'm going to see you guys in the next video, man. I didn't mean to rant too much, but I mess with y'all heavy, man. You know what I'm saying? No matter what it is, I mess with y'all heavy. Just know that. But I'm going to holler at you guys in the next video, man. Peace. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys definitely enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, and you can also watch one of my previous videos after hitting that subscribe button. I hope you guys like this video. Let's get this thing to 5,000 likes. And this is your boy IKC signing out. Peace.